you mean what I mean? You know damn well what I mean. What's going on over here? What's going on guys? Shy Clips here once again. And today we're going to see some crazy clips of the worst cheaters I can find. And like always guys, my favorite clip will be at the end. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But this first one guys, it is definitely insane. Basically we have this couple over here. I guess they end up doing a loyalty test by switching each other's phones. And I guess this girl is hiding a bit of a secret from her man. This is my cue to everyone to always check your spouse's phone because you never know what they're hiding. Today, I want to do a loyalty test with y'all. Basically so I'm going to have y'all switch phones, type y'all best friend's number in each other's phone and see like if, if any one of y'all messing with each other's like best friend, homeboys, homegirl, are you cool with that? Yeah, I ain't got huh? Oh, you cool with that? Yeah. No. <laughs> why, 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 why you, you stutter when you say like, kind of like, like so you want to start with him or you want to start with yourself? Him. No, we want to start with you. <laughs> I want you to take her phone, right? Find your homeboy number and type it in or, or messages and see what pop up if they got any type of like conversation. So you gotta be quick. It ain't gonna die by the time we got down go through it. Alright, bet you know your homeboy number? Yeah, Alright, bet type it in. <laughs> Hold on, they got messages right here. You say you never text them. What do you mean? You never text him. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. About it. It's definitely a shame that this guy's best friend is the one that's doing this behind his back. Sometimes the people closest to you are the ones you have to watch. What's up for him? Doing what for him? Your birthday coming up? Uh, what the hell are you talking about? Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> hey y'all, come look at this. <laughs> Christmas is like. This is coming. So you gotta text his homeboy for Christmas. Yeah, we doing some. The rest of the message? No, my phone's dead. Bro, that's, I thought you said you trust her, bro. Hey, don't leave. Just And this next one was definitely heartbreaking. Basically, we have this guy over here. I guess he ended up tracking down his girlfriend's location just to see her with her ex. Throughout this entire time, not once did he ever yell at the ex. I guess he just wanted no beef with him and he wanted to strictly mean it between him and his girl. In my opinion, he definitely handled this maturely. You caught my girl cheating on me for her ex. You're her ex, right? You're her ex? Right? Nah, you good, bro. You're her ex, though, right? That's insane, bro. You don't answer me because of this shit. Yo, that's your... Be honest with me. She's been Be doing like, all this on my own phone her? that I gave her. Get in my car. What's your relationship with her, bro? I just need to know. That's all, bro. Insane, bro. I've been doing you so good. And this is how you do it, bro. That's how you... Now, I guess after that incident, this is the screenshots of the text messages they shared. I guess they ended up blocking each other via iMessage and they ended up continuing the conversation over Instagram. Pause to read, it's definitely heartbreaking. When you're a father that has custody of his children and you're getting child support from the mother. And this next we have another loyalty test going on over here, except this couple seems like they had an amazing relationship until they swapped each other's phones. Now before even watching the video, I want you guys to guess who the cheater is in this video. And like I even said in the beginning, always check your spouse's phone. I don't care how much you guys have known each other. Literally this couple has been together for quite some time and they still cheated. Yes. yes. How long? Two years, a yesterday. Yesterday, oh congratulations. A good two years? Yeah. Yes. How good? Amazing. <laughs> it was excellent. Do you guys trust each other? Yeah. yeah. You guys swap phones for the camera to make yeah. sure you guys are loyal to each other? Can you do that? Oh. That works with you? Let's right. open it, idiot. Let's go into Snapchat. You guys use Snapchat? <laughs> no? What? <laughs> Anthony. Oh, no. We know say. No? Okay. All right, all right. Not valid. Not. And this is excellent. I'm not sure what this woman is on, but I do not agree with what she is saying. People always get so shocked when I tell them that I would not care if my boyfriend cheated on me. I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care one bit. Oh, shit, less. <laughs> And this sex one is absolutely so sad. Basically, we have this rapper over here. He ended up pulling up and literally stole this guy's girlfriend. Goes to show that if you have enough money and clout, you can literally ruin relationships. It's good, fool. Oh my god. It's good. Oh my god. <laughs> And this next one is definitely one of the most wild clips on the list. Basically, we have this friendship going on over here. The girl to the left is actually engaged, and the girl to the right has a boyfriend. As you get to hear more of what they're saying, you can definitely tell that this is a weird relationship. And to be honest, I'm not surprised with the aftermath. What did you expect dating someone's ex? Feels like friends by chance. Yes. 
And are you single or are you taken? I'm engaged. I'm taken. Do you guys like know each other's boyfriends or engagement fiancés? Her boyfriend's actually my ex-boyfriend. So you guys have history together? Yeah. Do you want to test her boyfriend's loyalty then? Yeah. Call her boyfriend up okay. and ask him to Netflix and chill and see what happens. Okay. Do you find him attractive? I used to. Used to. Okay, okay. Hello? Hey, I haven't heard from you in a while. Did you get called by your fiancé or something? Wait, why did he end the call? Wait, what did he just say? What did he say? Wait, why, why, wait. Where are you going? Why, why, wait, 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 why, why'd why you end the call? Why'd you hang up? What happened? Um... Yo, grab the phone, grab, grab the phone, call him up, call him up, call him up. Ask him, put on speaker. Yo, what the f*** is that? What just happened? No, no, I, 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 uh, I didn't, I didn't have nothing. What? What do you mean? What did you say? What did I say what? On the phone just now, what did you say to Jade? What are you talking about? I, I don't know what you're talking about. What did you say? I didn't say anything. I heard you say something about getting caught by her fiancé. What's no, that about? No, no, what I was saying, you know, like, uh, was I talking about like Triance? It's like it's like this thing, like this other oh. thing that happens when you like work a lot, stuff like that. Like, don't worry about it. Oh, You're lying. Don't now to be honest I'm not even sure why he ended up picking up if he couldn't even find a valid excuse to say because what he just said made absolutely no sense and it's super cringy but please keep watching the clip does not end there uh, I think you're confused, kind of confused yeah no I think something I just hung up because I saw someone like just happen you think the situation like are you guys lying to me right now no. you said he was loyal no one's lying about anything yeah this is suspicious as you wanna check the messages yeah Jay, check the messages man um, check the message wait Check why? the messages. Check Wait, the messages. What are you doing? Wait, what are you doing? Take the phone why, back. Why take the phone, phone back. Take the phone back. Take the phone back. Take the phone back. Take the phone back. Take take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Check the messages. Keep recording. Keep recording. Oh my god. Yo, yo, yo. Where are these texts? Wait, 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 wait. What Hearts? The? I love wait, oh what? Oh my god. Someone, Can you please oh explain? That was when we were dating, like a long time ago. It's not a week ago. No, that's a different person. It's 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 This is literally from a week ago. There's one from three days ago. There's also one from I'm not doing this. You have to be honest with me right now. Yo, why why did you send him a kissing emoji? Yo, yo, chill, yo eat. Oh my god, oh engaged as well. And this next one, I guess this woman just doesn't like nice guys. But in my opinion, you should never change for a woman. However, if a woman is being disrespectful with you, do not be nice to her and make sure you put your foot down. Good guys fucking suck. Wow, why? Straight up. They're annoying. We love to get our hearts broken. They love to get their heart broken, so they like the bad boys. And this next one is honestly videos like this that go on the internet that really make me worry about being in a relationship. There's no way this girl really confessed this on TikTok. I hope it goes super viral or her boyfriend sees it. My ex-boyfriend um, looked through my phone and was so pissed that he didn't find anything. He was yelling at me like, oh, you must have fucking deleted it, blah, 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 blah. I did. I did. Be quicker next time. And this sex list is absolutely so sad, but to be honest, it is kind of skillful. This guy really pulled a girl who has a boyfriend without saying a single word. Goes to show that sometimes you don't need to have something cool or funny to say to a woman. You just gotta be attractive, I guess. And this sex with is absolutely stupid. I'm not sure what kind of ick this is, but she is definitely for the streets. You love God too much, and I'm crazy, so fast. Mm. Oh, oh. Repent. And this sex one, I'm not sure why people do this. This is absolutely disgusting. This girl is literally sitting next to her boyfriend, and look what she decides to give to his best friend. Thankfully, someone recorded this, and I do hope they show the boyfriend this. And this sex list is absolutely disgusting as well. Basically, we have these men over here in a car till a girl decides to ask him a question. And this guy clearly doesn't care that he's cheating on his girlfriend. So I really do hope she sees this TikTok. Either cheat on your girlfriend or snitch on your friends. Hey, I'll be cheating on my girlfriend. Bruh. My friends be snitching on me. Uh, I wouldn't cheat on my girlfriend. What? You think that all your friends would snitch on you? Nah, not all of them. Just one of them. <laughs> so you'd rather cheat on your girlfriend? I mean, I already do that for free. Hey, yo, so, what yeah. the? Girlfriend, you cheat on her? Yeah. 
What if she sees this? And this next one we have this guy over here. He's in the club, and I guess he's trying to talk to these girls in the club as well. Let's just say they're not interested in him at all. He definitely knows that, but ends up trying to flex by saying he has a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, women do care about money and status, but this guy just seems like he's just lying about it. I'm a boss ass nigga. In this next one, I find this super depressing that this guy really took this opportunity and tried to go with it. His girl is still sitting right next to him, and to be honest, I'm also surprised why she really didn't care either. Do you guys have a th with me? No. No. Why? She don't like girls. You don't like girls? You know what's funny? What? How long ago I just asked you this? We were talking about that like 15 minutes ago. I just asked, I'm like, you like girls? She like, nah. I just had to ask because lately, it be like I come across women that be like, hey, you want to me and my homegirl? You should experiment. In the sex we have these people over here, I guess they're on some kind of show. This girl decides to show herself to this guy, and I guess he just was not impressed. 360 for Dougie B real quick. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You ready for a drill? Excuse me? You ready for a drill? No. She gotta get out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Not ready for a drill. We don't do over here. We don't oh, do that. Oh. Who's we, don't, we good though. We good though. Oh, we, we great. Oh, no. Yo, I swear to God, yo. In this next one, I don't like what this girl is saying. Basically, she hates men because, well, she got cheated on in the past. This is a reason why men just don't like girls with big body counts or people in their past because they start bringing this baggage into the next relationship and this is proof enough that women actually do bring the baggage with them. This girl now hates men because of a guy in her past. It's modern dating so hard for women. Because boys be cheating. That's why? Yes, boys ain't Why do you feel that way? Because I've witnessed it, I've seen it, and it is true like like all, how is it true give me an all, example I, I i hate to say it but all men are the same how are all men the same when they like what they see they go after it whether you are in a relationship or not you don't think a dissatisfied woman would do the same thing women women will i can agree to that woman will so with that being said, I could say all women are the same too, right? Technically, yes. In this next one, I'm not even sure how this is even a discussion to talk about. This girl is really saying that weight is more sensitive than height. Even though you can't change your height, you can only change your weight. Would you say it's kind of like a little bit different because height is something you cannot change? Like you can't change your height, but weight then anyone great. can change their weight. Weight's genetic, a lot of it. So I'd say no, because I think a lot of people can't control their weight. Or like, yeah, you can exercise and you could diet. But I do think, you know, like it's just unfair to judge people just on their appearance. Of course, everybody has a type, but like to say those things to people like people are insecure about that stuff i just don't think it's nice it's just not nice and this next one is guys absolutely correct i don't understand how women can listen to these kind of podcasts and really think they're giving some valuable advice I've been on 90 dates with 90 different men in the past year and a half you know how many women listen to dating podcasts like this and actually apply what they're teaching spoiler alert this is what it gets you this is her bragging about having an ex-husband ex-boyfriend and ex-situationship she's moving to miami so literally any guy in florida public service announcement stay away that's my present to you Merry Christmas. And this next one's girl is definitely crazy. Basically, she is saying she needs a high-valued man, but still wants to be the one that's pulling the strings. You are not the one that's capable of pulling the strings if you're talking to a guy who's high-valued, because, well, he will just easily replace you. He has more women just like you, and he doesn't need to kiss your butt in order to stay with you. She ends up saying that she needs many things from this man or else she's going to leave him. However, she doesn't understand that this guy is the one who's really pulling the strings. We have, diff like you were saying, we have different needs. If you give me what I need, which is my girl's trip, my alone time, my job, my this, my that. You're providing for the house. You're doing this. I will give you back what you want. Do you, you think want. you're in a what position? That, let me ask you this. Do you think you're in a position to negotiate with a man of that caliber? You think I'm not in a position you're to not. negotiate? Yeah, yeah, you're not. You don't think it's a negotiation? No. You don't no. think I can say, this is what I expect out of my relationship This is what women with you? don't understand. Yeah. As you go up the tonal pole of men, you have less and less leverage of what you can dictate. Yeah, you do. You're genuinely telling me I have no hope in a relationship right now. <laughs> no. It's less than 1%. What I'm, what I'm telling you, what I'm telling you is that as you go up the tonal pole of men, 
you have less and less leverage to try to negotiate with him. It's my way or the highway. Guys that are successful like that, they have a very A-type personality. They're not going to sit there and negotiate with you. It's like, oh, you want to go on a girl's trip when we're in a committed relationship? That's fine. Go ahead cool. do it. There's another girl that will sit her ass at home and not go out yeah. there and do that because, unfortunately, even though you might not go to the club, uh, you might not go to the club and fuck guys. That's not necessarily wifey behavior. Yes. And this next one, this is just to show you guys that sometimes it's not your girl, it's just your turn. And be careful about who you're talking to, especially if they're sending you a cute Snapchat. And she says oh, she loves, oh, but not Kay, and they all hoop oh, together. And this next one, I guess this guy is on Omegle with all of these girls. And let's just say he ends up violating one of these girls at the end. Everybody was speechless. It's he literally, got it's Thursday. What the fuck are you doing? Girls night. Yes, can I come over? Yeah! <laughs> Let me see your. Too far, man. Too far. Too far. Too far. I thought you were gay. Of course, someone with no top lip would say that. Yo, listen though. What do you? What's your plans tomorrow? And this next one is girl's reasoning for having a high-valued man is because, well, she feels like she deserves it. She is a single mother, and I'm not sure where she gets this hidden value from. It's really important to know where you stand in the dating market, or else you will literally keep yourself single for a really long time. Why do you want a high-value man? Because I deserve that. You don't deserve anything. Oh, okay. Who are you? Um, Simone. Simone deserves nothing. No Why? one in this world is. Excuse me? What makes you so special? Do you deserve access to somebody else's stuff? Um, nothing really makes me special to deserve access to anybody's thing but my own. Thank you. So you don't deserve a high value man. You don't deserve. Nobody deserves anything. We earn. And this sex with this pretty much proves that women only like men who are liked by other women. And I guess if you don't have other women liking you, this girl isn't gonna like you either. I saw you from over there and I thought you were absolutely beautiful, so I thought I'd come over and say what's up. Oh. Excuse me. Hi, I saw you from over there and I thought Excuse you were absolutely Excuse me, I'm still here. Well, I know, with the attitude like that, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Now from the worst clip on this guys, we have this woman over here, she ends up cheating on her man with her guy best friend. This happens way more times than not and goes to show that sometimes, when in a relationship, a woman and a man shouldn't be having any female friends or guy friends. Wow! Oh my god! Oh, so y'all just hugged up! What you mean? Hey. What you mean what I mean? You know damn well what I mean, what's going on over here? Okay, what? You already know what's going on. That's it for you guys, watching, guys, the next one. Take care. Peace.